to our channel. So today I am doing Magnolia's seven month update. Seven months. It has gone by so, so fast. I cannot believe she is seven months old. We just recently went to the doctors for her bump over her eye, the hemangioma and they weighed her there because she doesn't have like a regular doctor's appointment i feel like i have an antenna sticking out of my head that is her baby monitor <laughs> oh that's funny her hemangioma doctor appointment recently um and they weighed her there but she didn't have like a regular doctor's appointment and so at that appointment she was like 15 pounds a little over 15 pounds so that is really good she's up a pound from last month she's doing great so big things big things happened this month you guys she has two teeth two two her bottom two teeth have come through i think i might be feeling something on the top but i'm not sure if that's just like gums and i'm just making things up in my head but she has two bottom teeth they are out you can see them you can hear them now like whenever I give her her medicine I have to give it to her with a syringe and you can hear it like hitting the syringe it's crazy I cannot believe she has teeth it's so cute um so yeah so she has two teeth and this month she has really been liking bananas so what I've been doing is I have just been getting a banana and then just mashing it up and she loves it, loves it, loves it. She'll eat a whole half a banana um, and I don't mix it with anything, it's just a banana. She's still working on liking the other foods. I still have to mix it with like a little bit of cereal or a little bit of apple juice, baby apple juice. Um, to make her eat it because I think it's the consistency she doesn't really like. She's not really liking the carrots and peas still, but she usually, she will eat the whole thing. She just, it takes her a little bit to start eating it. She spits it out a few times, but she's doing really, really good with her eating. She is gaining weight. Um, this month we went back to Prague and we saw Dr. Payne, the doctor who helped us with her, and we saw a few of the nurses and of course the front desk people that check us in all the time. It was just nice to go back and see everybody. We're getting excited about doing it all over again, but enjoying Magnolia being little, just enjoying having her. She is so fun. She, oh my goodness, she makes some of the funniest faces and right now she's actually starting to get really clingy because, I said that really weird. She's getting really clingy because of her teeth coming in so I'm holding her a lot which is fine I absolutely love it and she loves to snuggle like her little like face right up into here and she'll rub her snot all over me and I love it it's so, <laughs> it's so much fun she is loving crinkle paper right now we actually have I don't have it with me right now in her room but we have it's just like a square and it's a piece of crinkle paper and she loves it she that we give that to her in the car and she likes to play with it um and we also have a book it's like a princess book and it has crinkle paper on it and she really likes that um but she loves crinkle paper and she also really loves she still sits in her sit me up sometimes but she's really really loving her new we got her this thing that she can stand because you guys her legs are so strong she can stand up like i will stand her up on the floor and let go and if it weren't for her not having balance she would stand like she doesn't collapse like her legs don't collapse she just stands there and her legs are so so strong and so we got her this little toy that she can stand up in um and it just like supports her all around and it has all these little like i think i showed it in a vlog so maybe robert can put a clip in or just a picture of it it has all these things around her and she can move them and it makes a lot of noise she loves it she's really really liking that and what i love about that toy though is that when she gets bigger those little toys that are connected actually come off 
and it turns into like a table and you can use those as little cars on top of the table but right now what's also really great about it is the legs fold up under and we can take it with us so like we're going to charleston this weekend to film a wedding we can bring that with us really easy because the legs fold up so she's really really loving that right now she is loving going for walks so Robert and I have been going for walks at night, uh, depending on the weather. Um, the weather's actually looking pretty nice right now. It's a little overcast, but it is good walking weather. So um, we have been going on walks, and I have been putting her like in the actual stroller seat instead of so the stroller that we have. We can take the seat out and put like this thing, this little adapter for the car seat. Um, so we've been doing that before, but re just recently I've been putting the actual seat on and having her sit in the seat and she loves it. She'll stay awake for the whole walk and just look around because I have her facing me, which is a nice thing about this stroller also is I can have it face me. So she faces me and can see me, but she can also see if she turns her head, she can see like trees and she can see, you know, birds flying. And so she's really, really enjoying going for walks. Um, and we've also been taking the dogs with us, so she is starting to interact a little bit more with the dogs, and I think she's really liking them. She, the dogs still really don't care about her that much. Um, every now and then they'll come, especially Olivia. Daisy still really doesn't care at all. Um, but Olivia, the bigger one, will come over and sniff her, sometimes lick her, but still like not super that interested. She is sleeping better through the night. She's still not sleeping a full night, but usually what she'll do is like if she takes her last bottle at like eight or nine, then she'll wake up again at like four. But if she ends up waking up at like 11 or 12, then she'll sleep until like seven. So she gives me a really good stretch and she sleeps really, really good. We have started having her take naps in the crib. She's napping right now, but she's out with Robert um, in the den. But I've been trying to have her sleep, take naps in her crib, which is why we have this um, little baby monitor. We're testing it out still. We're not sure. I think we might be taking it back. I'll put that in a vlog. We'll talk about it on a vlog, but that's not what this is about. But yeah, so she has been taking a few naps in here and it's not great. Her naps don't last very long, but she is able to put herself to sleep. So that's good. She usually only ends up sleeping for like 15 or 20 minutes. Um, she still has that she still has that like reflex like she thinks she's falling and so it wakes her up and I don't know when that's gonna go away for her um, I don't know if it's still there because she's a preemie and so it's taking longer for it to go away but man I'm ready for it to go away so she can sleep in here so I hope you guys like this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already and leave a happy friendly comment below we'll see you guys next time bye